Next, we're going to look at the search. So the search is, is a bit more trickier than everything else. There's two ways in which you can actually approach this. One is to keep it very simple and to have a on-click uh, show a panel which looks like this. Don't need to worry about how this little animation, the way it morphs. Let's go back to actual RP. Let's create a box of size 1200. Okay, cool. We're going to need the logo. So let's just go over here into this master and just copy this logo. And back to the home page, and here, drag it on. And we're gonna need a close, so let's change this to icon library. Search for the close, drag it in. I think we used what size close did we use for the overlay? Let's see. Let's see what size this was. Okay, let's just copy this. Close. So if you ever copy uh, an icon which has an interaction, it actually copies the interaction with the icon. So you'll notice the little yellow flash lightning uh, icon on the edge there. And then for the action, we're going to fill it in a bit later. The next part is this has these terms. Just copy that and let's put it on our panel. So I'm going to change this back to default. Grab, grab a label, enter, paste. And let's just treat it now. We're going to just change the font size. First, I want to just separate the text links. Oops. Okay. There we go. F force. And select everything. Left align it. Let's redistribute it. That's looking good. And then I want to change the style of this to about size 16. I'm going to change these guys to about size 14. It just kind of feels right, yeah. Actually the smaller, the, the other piece is the other way around. So this should be 18. And that looks 16. Okay, cool. That looks all right. And then let's just change this up to gray. And there we go. Cool. I'm not too concerned about this sort of styling for the X. The last thing that I need here is this search element. So I can copy. Let's go back out. And we're going to paste it here. There it is. Cool. And we're just going to expand it. So the background is kind of expanded to something like that. Let's just check the reference. Cool. It's aligned with that. Cool. Uh, that's fine. Let's go back to our file. Oh, it's aligned with that. Cool. Uh, that's fine. Let's go back to our file. And let's just make our text field a bit larger. So we'll just drag this out a bit more. Something like that. Cool. And then we're going to select everything. Change it into a dynamic panel. And that's our search view or 
search panel. And then what I want to do is to make sure when we click on X, the interaction is such that we're going to hide the search pane. And then another thing that I want to do is to name the text field. That's the search text field. Close that. Then next up, I need to hook up the, the actual action. So let's take this dynamic panel and X, go into the master and then just position it right paste come on we're going to position it over everything else somewhere about there and then on the search when this search bar group gets clicked we're going to show this panel the search panel and it's going to slide down and I want to treat it like a light box and I'm going to keep the background this color at 60% cool let's click OK and then let's position this and right click set to hidden go back to the home page preview let's see if this works if we click on on uh, search there's our search bar that seems to work if we close it next up we can kill the light box effect it's not working the way i wanted it to so let's go back to extra jump in the light box part say none done Home page, control save, and preview. Cool. And if we click on that, there we go. And if we click on that, it closes. Awesome. Next up is the footer. 